Hello, good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capilian Jr. Guys, uh, what I'm going to do is to test this uh, valve actuator uh, manually. Okay, when I say manually, uh, I will try to give a control signal of 0 to 10 volts. Then I will check if my uh, feedback status is also... I mean, the valve actuator is also giving a feedback status, okay? So, to be able to do that, what I need are these two things, okay? Now, first, I have this uh, analog output module, which is connected. As you can see, this cable is connected to my uh, IO module bus or IO bus, okay? So, this is my IO bus extension. So, this module is connected to my automation server, okay? Then, I have here my multimeter, which is now, uh, we'll check the DC, okay? Now, we are expecting, uh, in my previous tutorial, as I said, the feedback status or the feedback signal will be also 0 to 10 volts, okay? So, we are going to receive it and wire it in our analog input channel of our uh, controller okay but this time i want to check the valve if it is working fine so two things that i need are analog output module then a multimeter which can check the uh, feedback status or feedback signal now uh, as you can see the valve is uh, in a closed position okay <clears throat> This is already powered up. Okay. <clears throat> now let me show you my. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my module. Okay. <clears throat> so the control signal, I wired it to the. <clears throat> so I wired my control signal to uh, channel number five. Okay. As you can see here. The let me show it to you. So I have selected here the voltage output, then the common. Then, as I said, you can also use a 4 to 20 milliamps, but we will be using the voltage output as denoted by VO. Then, return as you can see, I put the I, I terminated there the cable going to my valve actuator. Okay, now the beauty of this analog. Output module is you can uh, put it in auto, off, or hand. We have a manual here. So as you can see, I'm using this uh, analog output number five. Okay. So I put it to hand. Okay. So when you put it to hand, you can adjust this potentiometer. Now I have here a potentiometer. Okay. So this is the minimum or zero. Then the maximum will be 10 volts because we are using the uh, voltage output 0 to 10 volts. So maximum is 10 volts. Then uh, I have a 0 volts here. Okay. So right now, uh, when I put it already to manual, so my potentiometer is at 0 volts. Okay. So this is the beauty of this analog output module from Schneider. Okay. Now, guys, uh, this is manually testing. Okay, so let me put down my you know, uh, analog output module. This is manual testing. You want to manually test your uh, anal uh, ba uh, valve actuator, okay? Because um, maybe usually I'm doing this uh, at the start of the project, okay? So especially when all the materials are already arrived at the site especially the controllers and some of the field devices. So usually, I'm doing this to make sure that everything is okay before installing in the site, okay? So how are we going to test it? First, uh, we will try to play with the control signal, okay? So let's see if we can play with it, okay? Now let me just... Show. Okay, now I will try to adjust slowly the output signal, okay? So as you can see now my valve stem is trying to uh, also moving down. Now as you can see uh, I'm giving around 1.5 volts as per my uh, feedback. Okay as you can see here I had here 1.5 volts. 
So meaning I am giving my uh, valve a control output signal of 1.5 volts also. Okay, let me make it. Let me open it a little. Okay, as you can you can hear the movement of the valve stem. Okay, I'm giving two. So I'm giving 2.6. Okay, as you can see my valve is trying to open more. Okay. Okay, let me see maybe my okay so I'm adjust I'm still adjusting now I'm giving around four volts so as you can see the bulb is already halfway open okay as you can see by the pointer now it's 5.5 as you can see if you will look at here it's around halfway open or 50% open so let's open more okay Okay. Okay. Now I'm giving 7.8 volts. 8.3. Okay. So if I will give 10 volts here, then this valve will fully open, as being. Uh, okay. So it's still opening. Okay. So maximum is 10 volts. It's already. It's almost. Oh, why like this? Oh, okay. Okay, now it's 10 volts. Okay, I think I had some problem. I did not uh, tighten uh, fully the... Okay. Okay. So it's a little bit... Kick. Okay, anyway. Uh, that is how you are going to do the manual testing of the bulb. With the bulb actuator. Okay, so what you need is an analog output signal then a multimeter now if you don't have like this you can if you have a power supply which uh, which is variable which it can give around 0 to 10 volts dc remember it should be dc not ac okay then you can manually test your bulb okay so i will try to tighten this uh, connector because i did not tighten it okay so anyway uh that is 2.4 so meaning my valve is open 25%. So let me close it. Okay. So I'm closing it now. Okay. So I had closed the valve. Okay. So guys, this is how you are going to test your uh, valve actuator and the valve itself in manual technique okay now the next part of this is how you are going to test this valve actuator uh, in an automatic mode because i have used this uh, module in manual i have put this one in manual okay or in hand now if i will put this in automatic i have to write or i have to uh, to use a pid controller okay so i have to Maybe I will write a simple program in function block programming or script. Then I will show you how this valve actuator will uh, perform based on an PID output. Okay, so what's for the next part of this? How to test the valve actuator uh, in automatic mode? Okay, so using a PID controller. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope uh, this one will be useful for those who are new to this field of engineering, building automation, or building management system. Once again, if you are new to my channel, please uh, help me promote it by subscribing. You can also like, share, and put your comments. Okay. Now, again, I am not claiming any expertise here. I am doing this to help new engineers and those technical uh, course graduates who are wishing to join building automation or an MEP company, mechanical, electrical, plumbing company who are responsible for uh, building construction, especially high-rise building, malls, hospitals, etc. Okay, so before I will end, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.